the wages world here it is uh april 8th 2020 and uh yeah i'll come at you with a video here okay guys i'm gonna come at you with a video here real quick this is gonna be a really short one and i'll come back later today with a bigger one but um you know you see these auroras these are really really awesome okay they're beautiful um but they were not expected okay if you read this article over here at spaceweather uh dot com um yeah we got hit with some pretty good solar wind um that wasn't expected so it could have been from a stealth solar storm or just a coronal hole that may have gotten here at a different time than what they expected um or all the above you just never know um but that is what happened there okay um and i'll take you over and show you the grass here in a minute but right here guys here this is comet atlas all right now we all you know, we've been hearing a lot of stuff on this from ain't nothing going to happen to the end of the world's happening. Um, and we'll go into that a little bit more, but, you know, later on today. But this thing here is, um, it's being acted upon by forces that is not gravity. So that's telling everybody that the core of it is actually changing. So the solar wind's interacting with it, causing heat, and it's probably gassing out a little bit. And if that happens and it goes ahead and fragments apart, um, you know, we don't know what will happen. But, um, and that's my whole point here. None of us really know 100% what's going to happen. These things are so volatile and unpredictable that they change at a drop of a hat. So, you know, like I said, it's being acted upon by something other than gravity. And that's how they know that it's changing. And that something something that's not gravity is itself really because it's being um the, it's gassing out and it's causing a whole lot of different things with this thing now with that being said is it going to slow down speed up change its orbit you know we don't know 100 percent. but i can tell you this that the last one that came through like this the sun ate it up um but yeah so we'll go into that a little bit more um, later on today but um i'm going to take you over and show you some show you the magnetosphere tools Okay, guys, I got you over at um, Space Weather NOAA, okay, the Prediction Center. Um, you can see the solar wind speed, guys, okay? That's not really that, that high. Also, I've been showing you guys this one. Every time there's a, a, a spike there on the solar x-ray flux, usually that means we're getting some sort of flare um, action. And you can see how this thing died off because that sunspot moved on off a little bit. Um, so that that's what's causing that to drop out a little bit But here's a geomagnetic activity chart KP level. I show you guys this all the time now. There was a cosmic ray warning now Okay Because we were here on the bottom when that happens cosmic rays get in easier, but Here is what they didn't expect this right here Okay that's because we, we got a solar storm of some sort, whether it's a solar wind speed, uh, I mean a solar wind event from a coronal hole, or if it's something else. I don't know for sure. Um, it could have been a mistimed um, coronal hole, okay? So, you know, with that being said, we're almost in, you know, if we get up to a four, that would be, you know, pretty active conditions. But those are, that's why we were seeing those auroras. Okay, and so let me take you over here and show these other tools, but um, before we do that, I'll show you this. Okay, there's that sunspot that is, oops, that gone, man. Right here, it's kind of rotating off now. Okay, now here's the corona hole, and Earth is right there. Sun's rotating this way. So what I would say to this, guys, is we need to pay attention to earthquakes for the next probably several days. Okay. Um, our, the wind speed, the solar wind, is probably going to uptick like it has right now. It's probably going to hang out up there for a few days. So, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. The intensity and the frequency of earthquakes a lot of times go up when we're having uh, solar wind events and stuff like that. So yeah, so that's what's going on with that. Now, um, again, guys, 
here's here's this this is showing exactly what i was telling you you see how we were you know here on the bottom and all of a sudden spike up all of it did okay and the density tried to go down but it got pretty high and i'm going to show you something there too so um yeah okay guys this is the end low model that i show you guys quite often now we are right about here in time okay this is two days behind it shows us historically and it forecasts five days out in advance now i don't think we can trust it out that far because it changes constantly just like a local weather does okay they have to keep changing it when they get more data more correct data in so the models change and that's when they report it to us but this is what's going on with this okay the earth is the green line now if we look you know, right here, they're, they're showing an increased uh, wind speed. Then it really doesn't come down very much, and it goes back up a little bit. Um, so they're probably thinking the same thing here, okay? But up here on the densities, you know, kind of mirrors that the opposite direction. So I wanted to show you that. Okay, guys, if you hear a little humming in the background, I apologize. Um, we got a fan running. It's kind of hot, so... Um, Anyway, I'm just going to move on from that. But if you guys hear that, I apologize. I'm going to try to make this short anyway. Here's the solar wind stream or the solar solar wind uh, model. Okay. So what we're looking at here, guys, um, if you look up here, there's a solar wind speed, right? 302. So, that's where we want to look at for to get our solar wind speed. So, as I'm toggling through here, you're seeing stuff here, right? And you're seeing that number jump. It's pretty high. I got up over 1,000 there. Now, that's kilometers per second, and I'll convert that for you guys here in a minute. But then we got that big one. Look at that. Okay? These are some decent-sized hits, guys. Okay? Then we get this next one, and look where that goes. 1537 that's that's pretty fast that's triple what we would consider normal speed okay also i want to say this too they're they're finding out more and more that the density of these of these charged particles are um as important or or more important than the actual speed of the solar wind and they used to think that was kind of opposite of that but there's been some studies and some papers that were uh done um on that and there's a lot of uh, good articles on it too so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you over here and show you that in a minute but yeah so this was unexpected okay they were not expecting this at least from what i can gather now here's the spaghetti string model with what we call it it the imf lines our connection to the sun and other bodies um is the the blue lines they're called interplanetary magnetic field lines uh, when those things start you know doing crazy stuff you know we're getting some uh solar weather okay usually see that now i know that's kind of shocking to most people that's never seen this before but this has happened before multiple times okay just let you know it doesn't mean that a whole bunch of stuff's going on it just means we're getting hit that's what that means so you know, it doesn't mean we have to ignore it either, okay? So as we go through here, it's just one after the other, okay? So we are getting some sort of solar storm here. Um, so yeah, that's kind of crazy there. Now let me, I'm gonna show you guys the Schumann resonance real quick too. Actually, before we do that, I'm gonna show you the conversion here. Um, this is kilometers per second right here. And we know it got up to 1537. Okay, that's kilometers per second. Oops. So um, we want to convert it to miles per hour so we kind of understand it a little bit more. So we hit that button and it gives us probably over 3 million, I would think. Yep, 3,438,171 miles per hour. That's fast, okay? It's triple what we expect normal conditions to be. So yeah, so I wanted to show you that real quick. 
Okay, here's the latest human, okay? Obviously that big spike is now back far enough where you don't even see it on this graph anymore. But we are still getting spikes, okay? Um, so if you're getting tendonitis and all that kind of stuff, um, ringing in your ears, you know, and other mental issues going on, depressed or extremely happy, um, extremely motivated or even extremely depressed. This can actually cause all that. I ain't saying that is what's causing it for you personally. Um, I would always suggest you go talk to somebody if you're having some bad thoughts. Or, you know, if you think something's wrong with your ears and stuff like that. Trust your gut, okay? Um, that's what I would say to that. If you think you need to go to the doctor, go to the doctor. If you think you don't need to, don't. I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, so I wanted to show you guys that real quick too. Um, but I will come back later on with another video. Um, I do want to talk about that comment a little bit more. Um, I'm just hearing and seeing things that people are saying that I, it's just enticing fear, okay? Um, in an already fearful world right now. Um, I don't, to me, I just, I don't like that, guys, because it doesn't, People make bad decisions when they're scared or fearful or even anxious. Um, it's right to be concerned a little bit, but you don't have to put it out there in such a way that, you know, you're basically saying the world's going to change in such a drastic way that none of us are going to have this or that or this, right? Now, I will say this. The timing of this thing coming around while we've got this uh, whole situation going on globally Um that is, you know, very, very interesting. It's odd. Um, yeah. So, and we'll talk about that more later on, guys. So, um, stay safe. God bless. Yeshua saves, and uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid. All right, guys, one more thing. I may do a live stream later on. Um, I realize everybody is home and stuck at home. Um, I've never done one from my channel, so I may have a little bit of a learning curve there. But um, once you, if, if you guys would, if you guys want to catch that, please turn the notifications on, um, at least for today. That way you know when I go live. Um, that way you guys can check it out and, you know, ask questions or whatever you want to do. I think that's probably what I'm going to do as I'm talking about the other stuff I want to talk about. Um, if you got, got any questions or whatever, um, if you show up, those of you guys out there that I, that I know, um, you may have a wrench. If you got a wrench, you know, like I said, guys, um, just come on over and check it out if you can. Um, I'm not going to promise it's going to happen, but most most likely it is. It'll probably be around, I don't know, two, three o'clock in the afternoon, maybe, maybe a little earlier, a little later. I'm not I'm not setting it in stone because I I can't do, uh, you know, setting in stone right now because there's so much stuff going on around here. Um, but yeah. So I, but I do, I would like to do that. So, um, anyway, God bless. You should have saved and, uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid.